on this 2007 Dodge Caravan. This is a 3.3 liter V6. We are going to be changing out this coil right there. It is connected to our spark plug wires. So I'm going to show you how to do that and what to do first. Before we begin this project, we want to remove our negative cable from our terminal. That is a 10 millimeter nut. All right, so this is our ignition coil. There she is. This is a standard UF305T. I took the liberty of writing a date that I'm going to be uh, changing this part. This is just so I know how long these parts last for a particular brand and when I change the part. So this is a pretty easy install. Basically all there is is two 10 millimeter nuts. You got one right there in the corner, one right there in the corner, and if you can see in between these wires, you got a wire harness. You simply slide out that little red deal there and you disengage the wire harness from the coil. Alright, so now that the nuts have been removed, we are going to simply place our ignition coil there, making sure that our wire harness is in the back there. That's how it properly sits. And we are going to put on the wires one by one in that same order that they are on the old ignition coil. Once we remove all these and replace them onto our new ignition coil, we're going to separate that wire harness. When installing these new wires onto your coil, make sure that you hear a popping noise to ensure that you've seated them good. Now that we have our back three on, we can lift this coil out of the way, our new coil. Make sure it's on there good and secure. We now have access to this wire harness. So again, we're going to slide this little red piece out and we're going to separate the wire harness. So we've now got our wire harness separated. We can simply change out the wires one for one on our new coil with this old coil and remove it and put it back onto its mounting screws. So we're just going to take off one wire at a time and then we're going to put it onto there making sure that they're properly secured by hearing it pop when you go to insert the spark plug wire onto the coil. So after we got all our front wires on and they're properly secured to our coil, we're going to remove that middle one just so we can get access to that wire harness. So we're going to plug the wire harness back in, slide the red piece back in place, and put back on our middle wire. Alright, so the last part of the ignition coil install is just tightening down these 10 millimeter, these two 10 millimeter bolts. So we're just going to tighten them down and secure them. Okay, just be sure when you're tightening down your two 10 millimeter bolts that you don't tighten it down too tight because you don't want to break the coil. It just made it plastic. So that's pretty much it on this ignition coil install. So thanks again for watching Bry's Garage. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this.